So in the last video, we got this thing finally moving under its own power and it is pretty much ready to drive. Before we drive it though, we really want to get it into its final form because what's going to make this project stand out from other stuff is just all the little cool accessories we're going to do to this thing. So let's get it explained and what we're going to do to this. The aux beam really hooked us up and they sent us a bunch of LED lights. We have one light bar for right above the windshield and then two pod lights for the front. We have a link in the description and a discount code if you want to get some of these for yourself. And these things are going to make this thing an artificial sun. Alright, so we have this big old sheet of plexiglass that will give us a nice uh, windshield. And then we got two more sheets of aluminum. One of them will be for our hood and another one will be for a roof. And then we also got this awesome rally mirror. So that will give us a nice cool view of the back and the tire and everything. So as far as the rear section goes, we have a lot of mods for this thing. Of course, we have a Go Power Sports tire that we're going to mount as a spare, kind of like a pre-runner vibe. It's going to look really cool. That'll be some interesting metal work. We also have brake lights, and we're going to use the factory Ninja 250 switch so that we'll be able to light up and things like that. That's a ton of things, but the good news is every little detail is fun, and it's going to make this thing look like just a little bit more unique and just a cool buggy that we built. So let's just get started. We want to do a door bar, kind of help keep everything in if we do roll this thing, and just for some more structural support. So we're thinking of coming out from here at about arm height, dipping down, and then coming back up, just so it would be easy to get in and out of this thing, especially if our friends ride in it or our parents ride in it. So we don't really know exactly how we're going to do it yet, but we're going to get to the tubing bender and hash out some ideas. idea with the door bar we had a lot of ideas with like fixed bar going all the way across or a hinge but um, we thought that this would be the simplest way to make us feel like safer because this will be kind of around our elbow area and it also looks pretty good it kind of we're gonna bend it a tiny bit more so it'll match the other angles on the cart and I mean it's a nice compromise it'll be pretty easy to get into and feel pretty safe Yeah guys, these bars did so much. Pretty Actually, late. yeah, they kind of match this angle and this angle are pretty similar and then the roof line and yeah. this are kind of the same angle too. Kind of everything really works really well together. These bars are in, they're super sturdy and it's not too difficult. It's a little bit harder on the driver's side, but I mean, it won't be an issue for anyone to get in or out. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of uh, in the event of a rollover, you're just going to kind of want to just keep your hands in and this bar should totally protect you. I mean, it also gives you a sense of security and it looks amazing. So now let's move on to mount that spare tire. First of our tire carrier mount bars welded in and uh, I mean we're just kind of using tape and marks on the bars to try and get this thing centered and looking good. Yeah so the idea is we want this thing to look like kind of a lot of this rear section here is kind of trophy truck inspired because we really like that vibe um, so basically we're going to try to keep this kind of like an hourglass figure in the back here um, for mounting our spare tire but it's going to look really good guys. Okay, so this kind of goes with the same theme of adding these two bars really made this thing look awesome. Um, we really love how it turned out and basically this is going to sink the um, spare tire just basically halfway into our frame here. So it still sticks out a little bit but it's not going to be, you know, it's not going to be too intrusive on the look of the rear end of this thing. So now all we need to do is for symmetry we're going to add basically we're going to notch in a bar here here and here and then in the middle bar we'll have one coming up that connects to our go power sports hub and then that's how the spare tire is going to get attached finished up our tire mount, the tire slides on up to this locking collar, 
And then we made this little knockoff cap right here, kind of pre-runner inspired, that just threads in to a nut that's in the middle of the pipe that this hub slides onto. So you just tighten that guy down. <laughs> And the tire isn't going anywhere. That is sweet. So it's easy maintenance because um, we did realize it blocks some things like the gas tank a little bit and the radiator cap. So all we have to do is untie that knockoff and the tire is coming. Yep. Don't have to mess with the lugs. So now I think what we're going to do is move on to the roof section, windshield, and hood. Um, here's our aluminum from the roof. If any of y'all are wondering like what gauge and stuff this is, this is 18 gauge um, aluminum and it's uh, water resistant and all that good stuff so it's not going to corrode. Uh, kind of spent some good money for this stuff but I think it's going to be worth it. So this will be a huge pain but fortunately these are on Amazon and not sponsored or anything but they're literally just pre-cut tabs. I think you can get a pack of like 20 for close to like $15. And all we're gonna do is just weld a bunch of these across the top, probably three on each side and then one in each corner, and then drill holes in the aluminum, and that's that. All right, so now we're just gonna cut the aluminum roof to match the contour of the pipes. Roof done, it's pretty easy, just two cuts on each side and then just kind of filing it down and fits really nice and looks really good. To secure this, all we need to do is drill a couple holes and put some bolts in and it'll be done. So there's the first cut on our plexi. We're just using the jigsaw with a fine blade and going really slow. It's a long process, but I think it will let's give us the cleanest cut. Rally mirror is in. Um, I think this is one of the best decisions we made on this thing. It, it looks absolutely awesome. Rear visibility isn't too bad with the tire in the back, so. We'll get this pulled out, weld it up, and then we can start working on getting our windshield in and mounting our light bar. So we just got the light bar in and it definitely helps to look at this thing. It really kind of balances out because we have a bunch of stuff in the back. So now we kind of have some Woo! stuff up front. Yeah. yeah, the wiring's not done, but yeah, it's going to be really cool. Thank you, Ox team. nice piece of aluminum to make our grill so we just kind of need to make some curves and make it fit nicely and it'll be done. All right, there's our plexi. We need to take the plastic off and sand the edges down a little bit and then we'll get it mounted. All right, so we have the aluminum hood done. We have it under these little brackets here, so it'll kind of balance out, because we don't have any aluminum here or anything. But it looks really good. It definitely kind of ties in the windshield, the hood, and the roof all together. Yeah, but it really looks like an off-road buggy now, guys, and with all the aluminum. Um, we'll get some camera shots of inside the interior, but it totally looks like it's just like a concealed cabin. Um, this is definitely the most work we've ever put into a single build, but. So now all we need to do is we need to debate whether we're going to have front headlights, we're going to mount up our D-rings, and then we're going to get taillights that break at the brake pedal. So let's get to work. So the last little bit of metal work today is mounting these D-rings. We got two for the front, two for the back. So just grinded out some little tabs. There we go. Got four of them.
Thank you so much for watching. This thing made a huge transformation. Wrapping everything up and adding lights and everything really made this thing look like a buggy and super cool. Thank you Go Power Sports. Pretty much all the parts on here are from Go Power Sports. Thank you DG for our nice muffler. Also thank you Oxbeam for lighting up the night. And make sure you stay tuned for next time when we take this thing for a rip.